Hello, I'm Major General Jim Atkins, the Adjutant General of Maryland. We are fortunate here in Maryland to have wonderful forests and farmland, mountains and rivers, and our great Chesapeake Bay. Today I'm here at Camp Fredder to talk about our environment and steps we are taking for a brighter future. This includes what we can do at home and at work to be good stewards of our environment. It is not only the right thing to do, but is required by laws and regulations. The Maryland National Guard is a community-based organization with more than 7,000 soldiers, airmen, and civilians that live and work in and around Maryland. We have 40 armories spread across the state and more than 300 buildings sitting on 5,100 acres of land. We must uphold our commitment to be good stewards of the environment and the resources provided to us by the federal government and the state of Maryland. Whenever possible, we will look to both the public and private sectors to apply best practices for the benefit of all our stakeholders. On a daily basis, our soldiers, airmen, and civilian employees use and work with materials that, if not handled properly, are hazardous to the environment. This is not only a safety issue, but it could have also a tremendous impact on readiness and loss of valuable training resources. We all have a responsibility to make the state of Maryland a safer and cleaner place. Commanders at every level are accountable for ensuring their unit has an assigned environmental officer on orders and that officer must know the responsibilities of that position. We must consider the impact to the environment when developing our training plans. Planning ahead will enhance our training and improve readiness without taking a toll on our land. Everyone must read the maps and observe off-limit training areas, buffers, as well as the nesting areas of endangered species and plant locations. Leaders have a large role in protecting our state's natural resources. They must ensure that everyone understands the spill prevention, control, and countermeasure plans and what action to take during a minor spill. Leaders should conduct routine inspections of liquid storage areas and oversee their unit's preventive maintenance checks and services, or PMCS. By conducting proper preventive maintenance checks, we can effectively identify and intervene before an incident becomes a huge environmental hazard. And leaders must continue to help train new soldiers, airmen, and civilian employees to look for areas of possible environmental hazards and the steps they need to take to report and handle an incident. Recycling already takes place in our armories across the state for paper, fluorescent light bulbs, and metal. Help ensure that recyclable materials are being disposed of properly. If your unit doesn't have a recycling program, be proactive and start one. In the past few years, we as a team have reduced our energy costs by installing more efficient light bulbs, motion lights, and energy star windows and appliances. Within your workspace, you can help save more energy by turning off lights and appliances when not in use. Energy costs money, money that we can use for other resources. As I have stated, together we can improve the environment, enhance readiness, as well as save money and lives. Now it's time for you to take action. Thank you, and if you have more questions, contact your unit environmental compliance officer or visit our website for more information. Thank you.